Hey YouTube, this is Rexy. I'm Jordan. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is To Your Tourney, episode six. Yes. Oh, yes. that was a guess. That was a guess. <laughs> oh, so last time we left off. Um she got melted into molten um iron. Yes, that did happen. Yeah. Um, iron. Mm-hmm. Bunshen is captured. Toto is captured. <laughs> Somebody else is not captured. I forgot the other person. Kahaku is out Koko. there watching. <laughs> someone else. I'm yes. Watching. Yes. Papakoa. She's also not captured. Yes. Barrel girl. And she's like, have faith in them. Have faith in who? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Just do it. Just do it. Yes. Have the faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so I guess, oh, and also Bunchen and Toto are talking on either side of their prison cells. Yeah. Yes. Happening. Perhaps they shall learn that other was the other person from other young. Well, I guess Toto knows already. Maybe Bunchen can figure it out. <laughs> maybe Bunchen can, yeah. Oh, maybe all that will happen in this episode. Guys, remember to hit the like button, remember to hit the subscribe button. Also, check out the Patreon in the description to see, see these episodes a whole week early, as well as the uncut version of these episodes. And also, check out the description to see the link to our merch store. Let's get right into the show. Discussion. Discussion. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. A very, very sad episode. I didn't yeah. think it would go that direction, um, but uh, like right, right in the beginning, we just see the times just passing. Yeah. And they're just trying their best to stay alive. Yeah. Mm. And, and she figured things out as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Figured out something to do. Like I couldn't, I did not quite understand what the um, master was saying. Like, was he doing the heat in his palm on purpose? I think yeah. so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and he was just kind of using it slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To he was trying to get out. Okay. Yeah, he was transforming the heat into an extension of himself and like worming his way through the iron to get mm -hmm. out. And then his regeneration went from taking six minutes to nine seconds. Yeah. So it gave him more time to think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, it took a while, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it took weeks, just maybe inching. months. Yeah, that sucks. But I, I can't believe Iris legit just went back to regular Iris. Yeah. Like, my issue isn't necessarily the losing of the weight. My issue is that that storyline gets resolved that way. Mm. I kind of was hoping for... I mean, they had the whole can't see each other thing going there. Mm. They talked about the book earlier. I thought they were leading to, into something more poetic where they have a conversation and he learns mm. who this person is. Because mm -hmm. Iris has been pretty much just stalking him his whole yeah. life. She doesn't really know much about him. No. This is true. So I was hoping for more out of that. Mm -hmm. But if it... If that's it, and then next time he sees him, he'll be like, oh yeah, it's Iris, oh hi Iris, and that's it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, I guess my expectations were set a little high mm. based on the lead up to this. Mm. No clue. But yeah. I wonder if that moment that he saw her shadow, that he got some inkling, maybe. Perhaps. He's not stupid, mm. but... He was just narrow-minded before. Yeah. Now that he had some time to think, because notice things. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And also, a uh, kid named Chabo joins Chabo. the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chabo joined. Yeah. So Chabo and Iris are saved, and she took them off, probably back to Ural Uralis. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what's going to happen is, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. The purple guy. What's his name? Bunchen. 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 Purple yes. guy. <laughs> I think Bunchen is going to be kind of like memorialized back home and his father might, you know, they'll, they'll all be sad about it, but his father might feel like, wow, he really did something finally that could have been worthy of being king. Mm -hmm. So he'll get acknowledgement and that's probably all that's going to be there. Unless he actually gets saved in the next episode, which I doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It... Uh, the first thing I was going to say, they've showed that Chavo's mom is around. Like, I wonder if there's a possibility he, like, revives her, but he's never he met Chavo's mom. What, yeah. So, I mean, if it's possible that this happened along the way, maybe he revives Bonshin? Mayhaps. That, I'm, I'm thinking it's that I think way, that's what it's going to be. Because if Bonshin does die, then Fushi can become Bonshin. Yes. And Fushi might then be able to see the ghosties. <gasps> Oh, right, because we learned this episode that he he's compelled by the will of the vessel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he was throwing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's quite possible that he'll gain that ability. Yeah, and if he's, if he's then able to see them, then he can reproduce them. Mm. Yeah. He does gain the abilities of the vessels. Mm -hmm. We see this because he, uh, he was able to use Upa's little blow dart thing, despite never having used a blow dart before. Yes. yes. Mm hmm this is true okay so we've, we've got a little hope there the only problem is we have seen where if the ghosts die far away they don't te technically come to find him no you know so mm -hmm. Bunshen might be 
He might not have like a reason to not go on. He might just stick around Fushi with like the other people. I know, but he has to. Well, I guess seeing Fushi in the air, that he might like die and then see him in the air and say, "Oh, I'll stay with you that that way." Hmm. Um, but I was just thinking, like, if Fushi flies away after seeing him killed, you know, does he try to find him? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it seems like the other ghosts are at least doing totally the same. could do that. Yeah. yeah, true, 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 true. And he has his ghost buddies to keep him company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, I would be a little bit surprised if he just passes on because of the fact he knows about the ghosts. He knows that you can just hang out. Mm-hmm. So being struck with the unknown for the first time, I feel like that would scare him. If anything, mm-hmm. like just going on to like what's over there, is mm-hmm. what's happening. I feel like, though, they're almost in a trance when they die. Immediately after death, they're kind of in a trance of, oh, Oh, what this world, and they kind of light and whatever, especially if they, you know, died happy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, not happy, but died doing doing good things. Mm -hmm. Um, So I feel like he, the ghost, the ghost thing is what might draw him back. Like, he sees his ghost friends and then might start coming back to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, so if that doesn't happen, what could save him here from being executed? Um, just about vigilantes in the town. <laughs> Poco, because she's Poco, Pocoa. She yeah. just she just like launches her barrel in between yeah. the, the guillotine and the wood. Dies with him maybe because that's wood. <laughs> wood versus metal. Well, there's metal in the in the barrel, you know. The sure. Barrel, the barrel holder pieces holder. Sure. Barrel holder. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know this is on the other side, the side of it, but it just instructs me as, no, he definitely dies here. Because they made a point of um, when Fushi was leaving, he tapped him on the chest, almost to be like, if you need contact, that was it. Like, they, but, like there's, there's no reason for Fushi to be like, all right, no. stay around, Bachi. Like, yeah. he doesn't do that with people. Yeah, so what was, what do you say what was Just for? for the fans to know that he has the ability has of experiencing contact. this person, like, to be able to make a new body or mm-hmm. whatever. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily even needs contact. It's just... He doesn't do that. That's yeah. That's, that was kind of random. People, I just wondered you know? if he was like just pushing his pushing the the him in the thing back. That's what I thought it was weird too, but yeah, maybe there's more to it. I just couldn't think of a reason for him to yeah. do that out of the blue. I was mm-hmm. just like maybe they were trying to signal something there, mm-hmm. but perhaps that's not it either. But mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, the Church of Bennett, they're trying to get rid of him. Uh, I see mainly because Fushi was becoming a new god to a lot of these people, which he absolutely was. So yeah. they were just praying to the, the stone all the yeah. time. Mm-hmm. They weren't bothering those people because they were just like, they're not the problem. The problem is Fushi because he's a figurehead. <laughs> yeah. But actually, this is probably a good thing now that they all think, especially with that like big reaching part out mm-hmm. of Aaron, they think he's still in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that will definitely do what um the master is thinking how, you know, this will maybe quell quell things down a little bit over time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then Fushi can hide looking like somebody else for a while. Mm-hmm. Somebody mm-hmm. they don't know he can turn into. But like old. maybe Pura. Yeah. <laughs> then get captured to take it to Janaka. Janada. Janada. but anyways. Or even one of the little kids from Janada. March. Turn into March yeah. yeah. Nobody nobody knows about March anymore except maybe her parents mm. who don't leave that place anyway. March's parents? Oh, yeah. Oh, Marge's oh, they're parents dead. are gone. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they they got times oh, years. Yeah. yeah, so perfect. Mm-hmm. March is a perfect person to stay as. Mm-hmm. Perona was seen too much and could just um, be liggered for a while. Tonari is known to be dead. The mole. Yeah, maybe just the animals. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. hide away as the animals, especially he was he was kind of hanging out as the, as the bird there. Mm-hmm. So that's probably signal. I, I can see going that direction. I just don't want it to. I just mm-hmm. really don't like how much Fushi's taking a backseat to everything that's happening around him. Mm-hmm. I understand why. I'm not saying he needs to like yes, I am a god or anything, but mm-hmm. I mean just he's he's never tried to put out a different message, mm-hmm. and when he is confronted. I mean, he usually doesn't have the information so, because of the people around him to do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. But even still, he like, some more growth. just dipping out there, I feel like wasn't necessarily the play because there was a lot of people relying on him yeah. to help him, to be helpless by that. I don't, I don't know. I, just, it, I, I get it if he leaves. I'm just not very happy about it. Yeah. I don't know what he could do instead, though. I mean, a very easy fix for this is just to be like, I'm not God, I'm a servant sent by God to fix things. Wink, wink. Or a servant sent by an important being, a powerful being. But then they just say devil. Yeah. But I mean, he couldn't prove. He tried to prove, like he, he was trying to prove 
that he was oh, he, he could do a thing. Well, they uh, they would more accept him not saying he's a god. They hated him because they he was saying that. Well, he never never dissuaded him from saying he was a god. True. I think the problem is he doesn't understand what that those words mean. But it was um, I forget who I think it was Tony. He was Tony was telling him is your father the devil or something, and then he was like. Are you a demon? Remember? He's like, are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he knows, he has a concept of that, but mm-hmm. I don't know if he has a concept of a god mm-hmm. and what that means. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for, it's like, it just make it makes sense that he's not even responding to this. It's like, what is that word? I don't even know. Mm. Yeah. Um, so uh, he got Iris out of the cage. Yeah. Where would he have taken them? Yeah. Probably, that, I think that's what I was thinking. Also, I just realized... Fushi is apparently now able to make vessels of living people because he made, what's her name? Iris. Yeah, and Chavo. Oh. Yeah. He made both of them. Yeah. And uh, I was not uh, and he just met, like at all. He just met Chavo. He just touched him. Mm-hmm. But I guess it, I guess it, oh no, but that, that, that doesn't, that's fine. It actually tracks because he was able to make the dead man's body but he couldn't, he couldn't fill it with anything because he didn't know what he was. But he could just produce the body. He just needs to touch it. So it's just like that. Just like touching, you can touch a thing and make it. So touch Irish, grab Irish, Irish, Irish. <laughs> make an Irish body. It's, it, it, it tracks that he can do that. Well, okay. it's just the odd thing is because he's before he hasn't been able to turn into people while they're alive, mm-hmm. and he was able to make inanimate objects like bodies before of like animals and stuff like that. So I wasn't very surprised when he did it with the priest body. But the fact that Chabo and Irish are still alive mm-hmm. while they do it, that also suggests that could he turn into them while they're alive? Or is oh. that strictly, no, Just this copy. is a dead body that he can copy? That's mm-hmm. a good question, yeah. That does raise the question because he does know enough, he knows Iris enough and long enough yeah. that he could take on her her, perso- her persona and, and like be it. Mm-hmm. And it'd be alive, it wouldn't be dead. Mm-hmm. So what would happen? I, I, I don't think anything bad would happen. It would just be two Irises. Yep. A real Iris and a Pushy Iris. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if he will try. Do you think he'll ever try? I thought he would try. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He might find it like, no, it's just weird. He already exists kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he seems to have a concept of um, ownership around mm-hmm. bodies and almost like disgracing a body by even using it and making the body get stronger mm-hmm. when he did on the island. So I feel mm-hmm. like he wouldn't want to cross that boundary while someone's alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, warning. Um, <laughs> so Bunshin decides to stay and he's like, Describes a pink, mossy demon yeah. mm-hmm. that left a warning. If you do anything, I'm going to kill you. And Cyrilia was just fuming. Yes. And I was wondering if he was fuming. I think he was fuming because every, he couldn't like convince anybody else around him of anything different because of the evidence in front of them. And he was kind of making himself... He was like on track of saying, Bushi's a devil, and I um, agree with you, Church of Bennett. And he was on track for that, and then that's why he was upset. And so as soon as he was like, nah, not fan. So he was happy again. I'm guessing that's what was going I on. To- I am not on track with what he Oh, was sorry. Okay. Because he was like, uh, he was like, what? He was like, when he was saying Fushi was a demon, that's when he was like, kind of like, yes, I knew it. And then when he said nah is when he started being like. Mm-mm. He, yeah, but he, he, he started laughing maniacally after that. But he, he was having this weird, angry face, like kind of like, did you notice? Like, I, the whole time? I think that was in response to the threat of being killed by a demon. I think he was just afraid. Do you think he was afraid? Okay, yeah. that's what I thought at first, but then I was wondering, with his last reaction, oh, maybe he was just upset that Bunshin might actually get freed here? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he's being dishonest in his beliefs. Like, I think the Church of Bennett guy legitimately feels like this is a demon, mm-hmm. and it's a, it's a greater power than he's expected to come across, and this broken metal in front of him is scary. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, so this thing is actually threatening us and all this. And then at the end, when Bonshin says, no, he's a demon, but I'm still following him, he's just shocked at the... It doesn't make sense okay. for, him to, for him to do that. So, like, in two separate instances, I think it's afraid, mm-hmm. afraid, and then it's just laughing at the in- insanity of the statement Bonshin's making. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and also, Bonshin still forgot to tell Fushi that he can yeah. st- uh, revive people. Yeah. 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 That's why we had Chavo. Chavo needs to just keep slapping him every time. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't tell it either. He didn't tell anybody. Iris Nobody either. knows. Only he knows. 
The secret dies with him, then. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out some other way. Um, I was also going to say, I, like, it just occurred to me that Fushi used his newfound power to get them out. <laughs> like, it didn't the occur heat? to me in the, in the show. Yeah. It was like, oh, Fushi can do cool, strong things. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, I just realized, like, wait a minute. Okay. He just used his fire hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's well, pretty cool. Well, now he can he can heat up in like any any part of his body. Yeah, in any form, in any vessel. Yes. Mm. He does not have to become molten lava in order to mm. do it. Very cool. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to think the implications of this. Like, mm. I feel like you know Very heat cool. is a start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe because he couldn't do that before. Maybe he'll be able to produce just water without a, a, a cup holding water, which mm. is the last thing he he was able mm. to do. Need to drown him for a couple weeks. Needs to just be drowning. He can figure yeah. that out then. He still has a lot to work on though because he can stem it off of himself, but he still can't keep his consciousness within the molten. No. He was like pushing it out when he was inside the lava. Yes. Made the iron block. Yes. But it's a huge leap because he huge. can't really be kept prisoner by anything anymore. Anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this iron, a molten iron like prison is like the best That's they the could best do. They got. It's the best they can do at this this agent age. age. So I wonder mm-hmm. if we're just gonna like do a huge time skip to more modern techniques. Mm. Eventually, maybe not a big time skip right now, but yeah. like at some point we'll do a time skip and they'll just have new methods of torture and Perhaps. imprisonment. Yeah, I was thinking about it like as you were saying that, it's just like what could hold Fushi that we have today? Yeah, mm-hmm. and I feel like short of just putting him in a box and dropping it underneath the ocean, I mean, like I feel like it's not much. No, sooner or later he's getting out of there. Yeah, like the, the, the strongest material we have is some form of. Iron. Like titanium. Yeah. Jettisoning him into and it's still, a volcano. And it's still volcano. That that's probably like in the bottom of a volcano. Yeah, you gotta you gotta really all the way down. Throw him in there. Yeah, that that's With that's force. workable. And he'll learn eventually. Yeah, he'll figure it out eventually. Because he he could already make the fire in his hands, so he mm-hmm. would probably like survive because it's moving. Mm-hmm. So he's he's dying re regenerating, yeah. but now he can do it faster. I was gonna say like um, even if it was like a metal a box, he any any form of metal that we have is still metal meltable meltable yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, maybe just melted lava is the best. We we need the cube, the the movie cube, an impre- a, 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 a perpetual imprisonment machine. Don't know that is. Me neither. You don't, yeah, you've never heard of the movie the cube. No. Have you heard of the game The Cube, where no. you go through the the doors and some rooms are like really deadly? You have to throw your shoes to check if they're trapped. No, you haven't. No. Really? No. It was super popular a couple of years ago. Well, if you know, you can back me up here. If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just very. Cu- this is probably the biggest cliffhanger they've left us off yeah. so far in a yeah. long time, like ever. Might be ever. So uh, definitely yeah. season two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before we could like kind of guess what was gonna happen in the next episode, and we don't, we literally don't know whether Bonchin is gonna live or die. Yeah. yeah. I feel like knowing this show though and the show's track record, it's like, listen, guys, you do for a death. Mm-hmm. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we are due for a death. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. The show's tone has been very different in season two. And yeah. This could be a way to bring us back. Mm-hmm. Or continue on the we're on an adventure now instead of on a discovery anymore mm. Mm. Uh, but maybe we'll figure that out in the next episode guys remember to hit the like button remember to hit the subscribe button also check out the patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early as well as the uncut version of these episodes and also check out the description to see the link to our merch store including our night city collection we'll see you guys in the city bye 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 oh bye a special thanks to our patrons, Arminius, Cubo, SpongeBob's Wrath, and Hound of the Red Plains.